so in each of these beakers is a test tube and <clears throat> in each of these test tubes is one of the alcohols for experiment four either one propanol one butanol or two butanol and what's being added right now is the sodium hydroxide solution and after this just going to do a quick examination to see if the solutions are uh, miscible or not um, with these solutions, only in the case of one propanol should we see a homogeneous solution. The other two should be heterogeneous. We should see two phases. So if we look at the first test tube, <coughs> don't even really have to shake it, but if you do, you quickly appears that it's in one phase, it's homogeneous. So the first one here is propanol. The second one, if it wasn't too clear initially, you can try tilting it, shaking it a little bit and seeing what happens after you shake it, and you can see in this case that there's definitely a small organic phase on top of the hydroxide that we added. So that'll be one of the butanols. In the case of the third one, again, we can see that there's definitely a organic phase on top of the, the water. So again, our, uh, our solution on the left has the propanol. Our two on the right are one of the butanols, either one butanol or two. And now what we're going to do is add in a potassium iodide and iodine solution. And what this is actually doing, if you're, if anyone's curious, is uh, it's undergoing a haloform reaction if we have a methyl group um, next to our alcohol. There's sort of two things going on at once. One, it's oxidizing the alcohol to a ketone, and then it's actually cleaving it after converting it to a the methyl group to a uh, trihalide species. Now in the one case in the middle you can see that it's pretty, uh, it's not, not very transparent. Uh, pretty cloudy yellow color and in the test tube that we're looking at right now we can see that it's, even though it's colored um, because of the iodine, it is fairly transparent um, and there's a, that's the big difference here. If you're not sure, at first you can sort of let it sit over time, and the one that's not very transparent, you'll see precipitate form in the bottom, and the other one will clear up in its color. Then what we're left with here, where we have the precipitate, that is the 2-butanol, and the one that has no precipitate, just the iodine left, is the 1-butanol. So that's the results for the qualitative testing of these alcohols.